Hey friends, I'm here to answer another one of your questions today. Have you submitted your question yet? That's what I want to know. And if not, why not? This is your opportunity to get some free coaching. So if you have a question you want to submit for Ask Jane, just email me at jane at janecopier.com. Send those in and I will take care of you. So this week's question comes from Kendra. No model for you today. She had a question about something that I talked about previously. And she said, hi, Jane, I read your blog about the love languages, and I think I agree. But there is also a part of me that really thinks it's true that our spouse should learn our love language and learn to love us in that way. Can you help me understand why this is wrong? I understand that love is just a feeling in your body, but with that said, I think thoughts that make me feel love when my husband does acts of service for me. Yes, that love is coming from my thoughts, but he made it easy for me to think them. Isn't it reasonable to express to our partner what kinds of actions make it easy for us to think loving thoughts about them? Or is the entire concept of love languages just unproductive since we're just trying to meet each other's needs? Does this make sense? Yes, Kendra, good question. I think this is a question that a lot of people have. Um, that Love Languages book is so popular. So many people have read it and, and liked the concepts that they learned there. And I think it's important to know that like, I'm not against the love languages. I just don't like to use them as a tool against our spouse. I think it's really important and interesting to understand more about ourselves so it's not necessarily a problem. It's just interesting to know your preferences, just like the way that we have certain tastes for different foods. You might prefer, say, Asian food over barbecued food, or um, maybe you like chocolate more than you like vanilla, but they're still both good, right? Um, when we insist that we're only served our favorites, it's kind of just like having that immature child palate. It's like not understanding that there are all these other ways that we can receive love. So if we use it as a tool to understand more about ourselves and our spouse, it's fine, but it becomes a problem when we insist that our spouse only loves us in the way that we like best. Nobody likes to be told what to do. We don't like to have rules around the way that we give love to each other. When we do that, we, we miss out on all the other flavors that are available to us. So when we're open to receiving, we might find that our palate expands. Our eyes can be opened to other possibilities. We can feel so much more love if we're willing to notice and appreciate all the ways that our spouse loves us and shows their love for us. The nice thing about that too is those gifts are sincere. They're voluntarily given. They're unique to your spouse and his ability and his desire to show love for you. So giving our husbands a manual and saying, love me according to my love language puts them really in an uncomfortable position of trying to be or do or say something that they're not in order to satisfy our needs. So if you've been studying with me at all, you know that in our model, our feelings come from our thinking. So when we're emotionally mature and we can create our own feelings by the things that we think, provide, we can provide the need for ourselves. And then we just allow ourselves to enjoy and sort of soak up, kind of marinate in everything that's offered by our spouses, no matter how he chooses to offer it. That's really the way that we come to feel love and, and feel adored by our spouse. So I hope that clears things up for you. If any of you would like to meet with me and see if you're a good fit for one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, I have one spot left for December and then I have a wait list for January. So reach out to me, book your session. Um, you can just go to my website, janecopier.com and book a free call with me and let's have a chat and see if it's a good fit. Hope you guys have a great day.